Hello, my name is Paul Weiss and I'm with Eucalyptus Technical Marketing. In this video, we'll demonstrate Eucalyptus Bastard 3.1.2 and we're going to be building a cloud in a box. What I mean by cloud in a box is we'll put all the required Eucalyptus components all on a single system. And in our case, if you remember from a previous blog posting, we built a virtual environment as our virtual cloud sandbox. And we'll be installing Eucalyptus on that virtual sandbox on a single system. This video is a little over six minutes long. The actual installation takes about 20 minutes. I did edit out any times that we were waiting on the system. All right, let's get started. First thing we do is we need to create our virtual machine. And we're just going to take CentOS 64 bit. We're going to name this cloud in a box. And I'm going to change the amount of disk space to 60 gigs. This is a thin provision disk, so it doesn't really matter. And a single file. I will customize the settings. First one I want to do is I want to make sure that I have enough RAM for all of the components. I'm going to say 6 gigs here. I'm going to change the processors to two processors, two cores. And I'm going to check the VT box so I can make sure that we can do nested virtualization. I'm going to choose my installation media. I'm going to remove a couple of the devices that we won't use. And our virtual machine is created. Now we start it. And we'll make it full screen. And here's the first screen once we've booted up the installation media. We'll choose cloud in a box here. The system will continue to, to boot. And I'm going to pause the audio until we get to the point where we need to make a choice. And we're back. We need to say yes to discard any data on the disk. And next we're going to choose our language. We're going to choose our keyboard. Set our host name. Configure the network. In this case we're going to set our network to be a static IP address, and remember on our cloud 192.168.211, in this case .10, our gateway is 192.168.211.2, and we'll set our DNS servers, 8.8.8 .8 and 8.8.4.4. Next is our time zone. Set our root password and confirm it. And yes, we want to replace the existing systems that are on the disk, basically overwriting the disk. And we're just going to let this run for a while and we'll pause the audio until we need to make our next decision. Now we're back with the system rebooted, installed and rebooted. Now we just need to run through the configuration. Fast start. Once you log in, you'll start with your configuration. First thing you do is say yes to NTP. We need to make sure that NTP is set up. And we're just going to take all the defaults here for the, the bridge subnet, the bridge net mask, and a couple other parameters. So basically just hit enter. We're going to add our network range, our public IP address range, 192.168.211, and we're going to use 100 through 125 here.
And once all our services are started up, the next step is the automated installation routine from Fast Start will configure the rest of the cloud. Next thing is we need to, or the system is going to register all of the cloud components. And once everything is registered, the cloud is configured. The last step is to install or add to the cloud an image that we can use for testing. And Fast Start comes built in with an image. You can either use the one that's built in, and it'll be created on the fly from the installation media, or you can choose to use the internet. And we just took all the defaults. So in just a couple of minutes, the image was created and the image is uploaded to the cloud. And now we have a fully configured cloud that's ready to go. It has an image uploaded to it. We'll run one command here that you could describe availability zones verbose just to make sure that we have all our cloud resources ready to go. It's basically the, the health of the cloud. The cloud looks good. If you look in the max column, you'll see that we have available resources. So we're ready to start using the cloud. Thanks for watching.